X-Men Apocalypse Trailer Breakdown and Review Alright, let's get throttled. The trailer starts out just like every other trailer in the universe right now with single sparse piano notes. James McAvoy and Jennifer Lawrence are at the mansion and they are discussing potential war in the future. And we see a pyramid and then Oscar Isaac undergoing some kind of process becoming Apocalypse. This is a little bit different than the comic book origin. Brian Singer likes to take some liberties with these X-Men. For some reason he doesn't like them wearing the yellow spandex. It looks like there's a looming threat. Rose Byrne's character Morgan McTaggart is describing Apocalypse as a biblical historical figure who is gathering his four horsemen. Who here it looks like it's going to be Storm, Archangel, Psylocke, and Magneto. So let's watch out. Magneto apparently has a motivation. He's clutching some Something. He looks like he's clutching someone who's just passed away. He's basically saying he's lost everything and has nothing to lose by joining the Apocalypse cult where you all get to wear your favorite costume. Apocalypse wants to cleanse the earth. So Apocalypse says everything they built will fall including every bridge in the United States. All the bridges and I mean every bridges. From the ashes of the world we'll build a better one Apocalypse says while he destroys the Sydney Opera House which I don't know that seems like a lot of work. I mean come on. From the ashes, it's gonna take a long time. You're gonna have to hire some manpower for that. And everybody's gonna be dead. So where are you gonna find that? Good luck, Mr. Apocalypse. Then you got Professor Xavier in Cerebro. He's got the helmet on and his eyes turn black and he's never felt power like this before. Cause he's obviously never ridden a pit bull hoverboard. Don't pass the wood got water! Unless you've got power! <laughs> also, as an aside to this aside, this is Jason Scott Lee. He's the same actor who was in the 90s version of The Jungle Book and also played Bruce Lee in a movie. And then we watch Apocalypse turn into the BFG and then smash Professor Xavier into the ground and throw him against the wall like the Hulk does with Loki. Beast is all like, yo, the world needs the X-Men. We gotta get on this. Then the filter baseline kicks in and then we start to see some business. Then J-Law is all like, I'm gonna go out there and start recruiting some badass mofos. And she goes and gets Teenage Nightcrawler. Looks like Jennifer Lawrence is the captain now. I'm the captain now. And Quicksilver has a pretty funny reveal that Magneto is his father. He's gotta explain the birds and the bees to Jennifer Lawrence. But she gets it. Then she got it. She understands. Cyclops is all like, we can't control our powers. Jennifer Lawrence is like, don't. We gotta let loose on these bad guys. So he just takes his glasses off and just pew. You got Apocalypse eyes turning white. You got nuclear silo launches. And then everything looks post-apocalyptic. Psylocke is splashing through that car again and again, just slashing through that car. We always see Psylocke slashing through that car. It's pretty cool though. I like it. I like that moment where Beast just takes Psylocke and tosses her. And Jennifer Lawrence's mystique reminds us to forget everything we think we know, just like they said in Doctor Strange. Forget everything you think you know. Forget everything that you think you know. I feel like they're just using that line like, we've painted ourselves into a corner writing wise. So just forget everything you think you know about all the other movies because now we gotta like figure out how to get out of this. None of those movies matter. All hell starts to break loose. It's really cool what they did with the music. They mashed up the filter song. Hey Man, Nice Shot, with the orchestral soundtrack of the trailer. I thought that was pretty neat. By the way, the singer for Filter, Richard Patrick, his brother's this guy, Robert Patrick, the T-1000. And there's a fun fact for you. At the end of the trailer, we have a nice little surprise appearance, so I won't ruin that. Check out the trailer. This trailer definitely got me amped up to see this movie. It looks pretty fun. They're introducing Jubilee, which is nice to see, and a young Jean Grey. I'm definitely gonna go see it. How about you? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, like, and share this video, and if you want to help kids in war-torn countries, click the icon on my face at the end of this video, or look for a link in the description below. Click this link to check out my trailer reaction. I'm Aristotle Full Throttle, and I'll see you later. Another one starring Jennifer Lawrence, Michael Fassbender, Oscar Isaac as the titular 